Hi, this is Anne. Today I'm going to show you um, how to paint in oils, but also how to put a acrylic base at the back and paint with your oils on top. Um, the colors I'm going to use for my background is my orange, my turquoise blue, or you can use any color that you like, and a little bit of white, and I'm going to make white tulips in a white pot. So, um, for now I'm just going to take out my colors and just take my palette knife and just smudge, smudge it all over. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my orange and I'm going to put a little bit of my white and that side I'm going to put a little bit of my blue. So I'm just going to take my orange and I'm just going to take my palette knife and just cover this area. I just don't, don't want to bother too much. I just want to make it quick and easy and fun. And as you start to learn, I'm going to stay clear a bit, little bit of, uh, you know, of my pot there. Uh, as you learn and you go along, um, you can try different techniques if you like. I'm going to try and show you different stuff that you can do. And um, I'm going to take a little bit of my blue now. I'm just going to take this to the side. Just put on a little bit of my blue I um, don't want to go too much there where my pot is because uh, I want to scrape into that a little bit so and I'm just going to take this white and I'm going to come into this area on this side and then in front I just want to make a tablecloth that goes or a table about this side there and I'm just going to mix the two colors for that I'm not going to worry too much just want to slightly see where my pot is going to be and just maybe take a little bit of my paint away there That's all I'm going to do now and I'm going to quickly um, take my brush because I want to scrape back into this and then I will want to have a dark color underneath. So I'm just going to take a little bit of green with a brush and I'm just going to cover my pot where my pot is going to be with a green. And that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to quickly dry this with my heat gun. And then I will come back for the for the oils. Okay, I'm just going to take uh, my brush. It's a little bit of uh, black on top of this. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my white. I just want to make a slightly uh, shadow color. And I'm just going to make my tulips. Just remember that this must be dry before you start painting on top of it and remember you can use your oils on top of your acrylics but please don't use your acrylics on top of your oils because um, acrylics are water based and oils are oil based so I'm just gonna make maybe I must just draw quickly a few tulips I'm just gonna make them about that size so I'm not gonna make them too big I'm going to make some of them at the back of the other ones. So, uh, you can see I'm just going to put in my stems like that. And then I will just do a few uh, leaves. They've got the strappy little type of leaves that you can just use to put in. So, I will decide if I'm going to put in more. Um, I'm just going to take my light grey now and I'm just going to put in some areas where I think the shadow must be because remember they also got these leaves that overlap um, and uh, I'm just going to make sure that I 
try and put in a few dark spots where I can use the white against. So try and make them some of them a little bit smaller and some of them a little bit larger, you know what I mean? Um, that they're not the same size all the time. And not the same height as well. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to take my white. I will be taking a little bit of orange as well later on. And I'm just going to make myself some um, leaves that overlap this dark area. So you can even make a leaf in the middle and then two leaves on the side or you can maybe make the one side lighter and the other side a little bit darker. Uh, you can also decide which way your light is coming from and that will also you know, be a factor for your tulips. The ones at the back, I'm not going to worry too much about them. I'm just going to highlight them a little bit. Of course, I don't want them to come to the front too much. Now I think I'm going to put in the stems now. I'm just going to take my, sorry for the bump on the camera. I'm just going to take my Terra Verta green and I'm just going to go uh, over some of my tulips so that I can push them back. You don't want all of them in front. Some of them can be in front and some of them can be more at the back, you know, the, be in front of one another actually. And I will maybe even put in a few more, I'm not sure. I will just see as I go along. And then I'm just going to make that strappy leaves. Um, I'm just going to make a few strappy leaves there. just gonna highlight them with my greens and my whites you can even put a little bit of white with this and put in a little bit of your lemon yellow here and there or your medium yellow whatever I will maybe need to um, put a little bit of line work around them, but I think I will do that at the end because I think it's going to, you know, they're going to recede to the back. Of, I must have maybe put a little bit of a darker color at the back there, but it doesn't matter now. So I'm going to take my white and I'm going to take a touch of my orange. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of my orangey color here and there. Let's make another one there as well. Just making sure I'm overlapping some of the areas a little bit more. a few more shadows because I'm scared I'm losing the you know it doesn't stand out to the background too much
I think I'm gonna well this is still all the critics I think I'm gonna maybe make this pot a little bit smaller I don't like the it's a little bit too, too big for me That side I will do a little bit of my orange. Side, I'm gonna put a little bit of my remember it's it's still acrylics yeah this this ones these ones Just don't touch the oils if you do something like this. I'm taking a little bit of my turquoise oil now remember I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use acrylics now and I'm just gonna put in the area where the orange is a little bit more of my blues and into the area where my blues is I'm gonna put in a little bit more of the yellow Ah, the orange sorry I'm just putting a little bit more thick white on top of certain areas. I'm going to take a, a pencil now and I'm just going to go over in areas where I want to make it a little bit more detailed. So you can always do this when you've lost a little bit of your, your flower and you can see it makes actually very nice textures into the white and then you can again go over this if it if it bothers you I'm just giving it a little, slightly a little bit more of a
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this area with my white and then I will um, just scrape into it so that the green comes from underneath. I'm not going to worry about light and shadow on the pot because I'm going to use the green that will come through the scratches or the pencil for my texture. Now you can use your pencil and you can maybe make yourself um, some areas that you scratch into on your pot and you can see how nicely this works. There you go. Now if you really want to, you can take a little bit of your white on your palette knife and you can just put little bits of pure white onto some of your areas. Just remember white takes a long time to dry. It's almost a color that takes the longest in, in this uh, painting here. So um, you will need to put it away from cats or anything <laughs> until it's dry for, for, for a while before you can varnish this. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I will definitely see you next time. And uh, I will try and upload a little bit of more of my oils as well because I know there is a there is people that ask for that and uh, I usually go with my acrylics because they dry so quickly and you can um, you know you can do so much more with the acrylics when you you know because the oil takes a long time to dry so you have to wait sometimes to do something next or whatever but as I said you can you can easily use your acrylics at the back like I did and then put your oils on top you can even put a little bit of oil on top of your um, acrylics now let me just maybe show you and take a little bit of your orange and you can see you can quickly put the, put the oil that's left on your canvas maybe that's what I usually do and just maybe put them on here So it's not to say that you, you you need to stop when you've put on your acrylics and now you need to stop with a... You can easily go into your background as well with your every lift over paint that you've got there that you can see I'm going to use now there in my background. And uh, it 
actually gives you a lot of nice textures if you can see the the background colors and stuff so there's so much possibilities and there's so much that you can do so um, don't be scared just try this and um, practice make perfect you know it's it's you need to, to practice this and practice this before you're going to be able to start um, painting on yourself by yourself and um, you can paint along as well you can hit the pause button and come up to speed and then paint again and stop and, and go like that you know but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will definitely see you next time. Have a lovely day.